Good morning, everyone. This is Teresa with Mountaineer Farms. Well, we had a little bit of a winter mix this morning. Woke up still cold. It's very, very cold here. But it warmed up to where we can uh, at least have some snow. Uh, but we put the horses out. Put them out uh, yesterday morning. And we weren't expecting this they weren't cold for it, but our pond is froze over, and so instead of trying to catch the horses, put them back up, and have them stand in the stall all day, and possibly all night, he's going to bust out the pond. here at the lowest blank at the lowest bank area simply because you don't want a steep bank <laughs> his seat froze on him
get it out of the way so the horses won't get into it. If you know anything about horses, if they're going to trip or fall, or if there's a place for them to step and hurt yourself, they will. to walk on. Yeah, it is definitely thick enough to walk on. Yeah. <laughs> that way the horse can get down here and get a little bit of drain. I bust out a little hole yesterday with the axe, but it froze back up overnight. Yeah. Oh. This way to give them a little bit bigger hole where they can get a drink from. All right. I saw you was moving that old round bell. What'd you do? Throw that down in the woods? Yeah, I just threw that, round, that old round bell. It's got wet and started to mold, so I would have thrown out a new one. Okay. I need to build me a covered place to put it so it don't get wet. But... I'll put it on your list. Yeah, put it on my list. <laughs> and that's what we're doing this morning. Yeah. This is actually farm life. If yeah. you've got animals, you got to make sure they're took care of. The... Especially in the wintertime. You don't think about drinking a lot in the wintertime, but a horse will dehydrate in the wintertime. Any animal will. They need a lot of water and a lot of hay just to keep warm. Right. Well, and a, on average, a horse drinks, what, five gallons a day? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's like five gallons a day. Yeah. So you got to keep them, you know, water, fresh water for them or good water for them, a good water source. It's supposed to get up to 40 today, so it'll warm up. It's, it'll start to thaw. I don't know if it's going to get 40 or not because, I mean, we've got snow coming yeah. down. They go it ain't nice as place. bad out here as it has been. No. It don't feel that bad right now. No, it actually feels a whole lot better than it has in the last two or three days. So. Yeah, it's cold, but it ain't miserable. It's cold enough. Yeah, it's cold enough. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like, if it's, if this is the coldest it gets this winter, I'll be happy. Yeah. So, well. All right, let's go get a round bell. You're going to go get a round bell? Yeah. All right. I'll follow you up there. Get up here to my chariot without falling. <laughs> Poco's sitting there watching us. 
He's like, hey, you're in my field. What are you doing in my field? get the rest of that moldy hay if you can he's trying to well if nothing else he's breaking it up it's not good for an animal to eat anything like moldy hay it's just it's not good on their digestive system actually a horse will um, actually is it makes them very sick if they eat moldy hay. So. You tied that last time. You tied that. Huh? You tied that. That's my old special tie there. Special knot that comes undone real easy. Yeah. Very special. Before we had the tractor, we actually had to, got, had to get square bales simply because you cannot manhandle these big old round bales. Oh, that needs to be pulled this way. Yeah, that's hard to manhandle these round bales. These round bales what, weigh about 800, 900 pounds, every bit of it. Get the gate for him.
Now, I don't know if y'all could hear it or not, but our cat is meowing very loud, trying, wanting to get back in. We've had her in, and she's not, we've not keep her in, but we've had her in. I think she now thinks she's an indoor cat. <laughs> But she is squalling, wanting back in. But we didn't want to keep her in with the dogs in and have a dog and cat fight. Now, what he's doing now is just pulling all these strings. These are the strings that they wind up to keep the hay bale all in place when they're rolling it. And, I mean, it probably wouldn't hurt the horses too much. They wouldn't eat them. Yeah, they don't eat they them, but, but, you know, like I said before, if there's anything a horse can do that will make him sick or hurt, <laughs> they're going to do it. <laughs> That's just the nature of the beast. So, so we try to pull those strings off just simply that way they don't, we don't have to worry about it. Because these would not deteriorate. They wouldn't dissolve in their stomach. Uh, it it's grass. It's like a grass stuff. It probably would. But. Well, I don't want to take it. We don't take a chance. So we get those strings off. And he, what he'll do is just kind of. Oh, roll it with my tractor. Well, you could probably pull the strings. Yeah, pull. I bet you can. Yep, 900 pounds on yeah, but it's on slick snow. See, you're a he-man. You're a he-man. You could do it. You could do it. Well, you did some of it. You mean to just hold the strings? Well, I'm just going to roll it. Oh, okay. Tractors out my way. And get these strings here. Alfalfa, which is an extremely green. Here. Back over and just peel some off and take it down there. Down with it. Oh, okay. There. okay. Because I'll peel a little bit off and take it down there too. And, but now when we used to when we used to use alfalfa hay, which is very very green, they. Uh, you can never find the strings on those. You know, and sometimes I think he just plays. He's been cooped up in the house for two or three days. And he, I think he's just playing.
bit out I was gonna take down there to them. I feel sorry for them on a cold day. We've kept them up most of the time. And they're rolling. But they don't like being inside. And they're rolling. Yeah. Fine. Okay. <laughs> but uh that's all we're doing today. We're just messing around here a little bit. Yeah. We'll let it warm up and I'll make up the firewood later. Yeah, cut some firewood and maybe take a tree down, try to get if it warms up enough. I doubt if I can get out of the woods with the tree right now. Because, I mean, I'm sliding around out here. Right. But so. That's all we're doing. Just make sure and like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. I hope you're staying warm. Now, hopefully winter won't last too long. No. So. But uh, give us, let us know what you're doing on this cold, wintry day. Was it December 28th? December 28th, yeah. Cold, it's what, about it's 30? Time. 30, 28, 30? Yeah, it's probably about 28 right now. Yeah, 28 degrees. Let us know what you're doing on this cold, wintry morning. All right, wrap it up. I guess it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to let him do that. I'm going to get back in the house where it's nice and warm. Got a good fire smoke coming out. Got a good fire going up at the house. So, and he's probably still going to be out here playing. Well, again, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, remember, we love you. God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.